Well, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming. Can you hear me okay? Um, I'm Jack Spraga, president at Bristol Community College. It's my honor to serve here and uh, this great institution. And we're here today. Um, we want to recognize the great uh, generosity and the uh, support from um, Albert G. Bud Pierce, I think is the way we refer to him. Uh, and we're very happy about uh, uh, the largesse that he has provided uh, over the years uh, to the community college. And uh, I would say, I'll be saying a, a bit more about that later. But well, right now I want to introduce to you uh, Dr. Henry Valancourt. Dr. Valancourt uh, to make the announcement. <laughs> Henry? Yes. <laughs> It's tough to get old. <laughs> it's with great honor that the directors of the Pierce Foundation, Dr. Paul Dunn, Mrs. Donna Dunn, Dr. Frank Lepro, Dr. Kermit Dewey, Mrs. Betty Welch, myself, and the late Dr. Sanford W. Udis are here to distribute the remainder of the foundation's funds to three organizations represented here today. But before I do so, and before we give out the checks, I'd like to take a few moments to share with everyone some information about Mr. Pierce and the Pierce Foundation that was established to honor him and that originally was the recipient of some of the proceeds from his estate. Mr. Pierce was a lifelong resident of Fall River Besides being a well-known and respected businessman who was active in many civic activities, he was also a philanthropist who believed in returning some of the money he made to the community that enabled him to prosper. During his lifetime, he was a well-known supporter of many causes and through his businesses and his position with the Fall River Trust Bank, he helped many people. However, through his own choice, many of his benefactions have never been publicized. Some are now known, but many will still not be known. Mr. Pierce was a strong supporter of top quality health care, and he became both a welcomed and a trusted advisor to the Truesdale Clinic. In 1977, the clinic established a foundation to help support scientific and educational projects in Fall River, and we named it after Mr. Pierce and his wife Evelyn, and we also named the original New Wing in the clinic after Mr. Pierce. Being an astute businessman, Mr. Pierce recognized a good investment, and upon his death, in his will directed that funds from his estate be invested into the health and wellness of Greater Fall River through the Pierce Foundation, as well as through other charitable organizations. Over the years, the Pierce Foundation has carried on his legacy by awarding numerous grants to local residents who have pursued education and training in health careers, such as nursing, physical therapy, radiology technicians, psychologists, and medical students, to name but a few who we have supported with grants. Numerous road races and fitness activities have also been sponsored over the years, as have lectures and seminars on various medical and health-related topics. The foundation was a partner with the Ernie Yaffe Foundation and we brought cutting edge health and wellness events to Fall River long before such activities were considered mainstream. In addition, the foundation has been a regular contributor to the Samaritans, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Hospice, and numerous other nonprofit agencies. We've helped the United Way in Fall River to reach its yearly goals by being one of the topper offers for them scholarship money and loan money for students pursuing careers in the health field has been provided to Bristol Community College, UMass Dartmouth, and Brown University 
on numerous occasions. I would like to explain why we have decided to distribute the proceeds from the foundation to the three institutions that are present here today and how they have a connection with Mr. Pierce. As previously mentioned, Mr. Pierce believed in investing in and supporting his local community. By giving some of the funds of the foundation to the United Way of Fall River, money that will be restricted for distribution to nonprofits that contribute to the physical and mental health of members of the community, we believe that Mr. Pierce's wishes and vision will be continued. Mr. Pierce attended Brown University not as an undergraduate, but as a postgraduate. And he developed a deep respect and gratitude for the opportunities that his education gave him. Over the years, he showed this gratitude by money that he contributed to their fund drives. And upon his death, some of the proceeds of his estate were left to Brown University. By giving to them for the purpose of medical research, scholarships, and for other medical purposes, we believe that his desire to support our local medical school will be honored. Bristol Community College exemplifies the purpose of a community college. It has been and continues to be an integral part of Greater Fall River, and it has expanded continuously and has provided low-cost, high-caliber education to all residents of Bristol County. Its Health Technologies Division has helped to provide nurses, dental hygienists, occupational therapy assistants, medical assistants, phlebotomists, and medical laboratory technicians to help to provide for the needs of our community. It has been in the forefront of developing new and much needed programs that will continue to enhance the medical care of our area. Many of BCC students are first time in the family college students. We strongly believe that by giving to BCC money whose use is to be restricted for health technologies training and development that Mr. Pierce's wishes will also be honored. I hope that everyone in the audience now has an idea of how much Mr. Pierce did, often quietly and anonymously for his community, and how the foundation established in his name continued to do so in his style of quiet but consistent philanthropy. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Valancourt. Um, you know, you should know, I wanted to recognize a couple of trustees uh, from the uh, Bristol Community College. Uh, Jennifer Boulay, would you uh, raise your hand and uh, people recognize Jennifer. <laughs> and uh, Attorney Jim Grady, Jim Grady, thank you. Um, you should know that uh, uh, Mr. Pierce uh, has been uh, very much a supporter of Bristol Community College, as Dr. Valancourt mentioned. He gave some, uh, on the order previous to today, he, uh, the uh, foundation provided as much as uh, uh, almost $100,000 uh, for nursing scholarships, for uh, support for our health-related programs. And if you've had the occasion, uh, and I haven't, to run around our pathway around the pond, uh, the pond, uh, the pathway rather, has been uh, revitalized uh, be largely uh, through the uh, Pierce Foundation grant. And there is, uh, there is exercise, I'm told, there is exercise equipment uh, uh, on the pathway as well. <laughs> I can see it from a distance on a clear day. That's about as close as I get to it. But we're very grateful uh, for that. And again, it, it comes to with the, with the health-related theme uh, and that was so close to uh, uh, Mr. Pierce's heart. Um, we are uh, very, gener very grateful for, these, for this generosity. As you know, uh, at the community college, without these scholarships, st some students would have the door uh, closed in front of them. Uh, no opportunity would exist. Uh, for entering higher education. Uh, when you compare the prices, even at other public 
uh, baccalaureate granting institutions in the region, uh, UMass Dartmouth and Bridgewater State, uh, wonderful institutions doing a terrific job, but not uh, financially accessible to all students, uh, to all residents rather of the, of the community. And that's where Bristol Community College comes in, where if, if they can't come here, they can't go anywhere. And they are uh, doomed uh, to a life, uh, 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 at least let's say they uh, lose the opportunity for a better life through education. Uh, and this is the place to come. And, uh, and thankfully, Mr. Pierce uh, recognized that. And the people you see here associated with the foundation uh, recognize that as well. Some of, and uh, they have been very active in uh, Bristol Community College affairs uh, personally. And I'm very uh, proud to say that I uh, have worked with them and uh, continue to work with them for the betterment of, uh, of the college and for, of course, for the purpose of, of learning and for our student access. And uh, one of those people, you'll meet some of the others, you've already met Dr. Valancourt, uh, and I'd like to introduce another one to you now, uh, the president of our uh, BCC Foundation, uh, uh, Luke Travis, who is an attorney, and he's given, uh, frankly, uh, uh, in the few years that he's been uh, uh, with the foundation and serving as president, uh, he's given new meaning to the term pro bono. Uh, he has really uh, stepped forward and we're so grateful of some of the complex undertakings that the college uh, entered into. Uh, uh, he was able to navigate us through and uh, with his legal expertise as well, of course, uh, as his service to the college. So I want to publicly acknowledge our gratitude uh, to him at this time and invite uh, to come to the podium, uh, president of our BCC Foundation, Luke Travis Esquire. Welcome, everyone. Um, Yes, uh, this is a great day for the foundation. I've been involved with the foundation for probably about five years, and this is one of those events that we always look forward to. Uh, Bristol Community College Foundation succeeds because of folks like Mr. Pierce, and our job is we get the job of making the ask for the foundation, for the college, and, and we're happy to do it. And uh, we hope that you'll take our, our uh, are asked today to heart because what Jack said is true. The, the students who go to this college are really the, uh, the seeds of industry and commerce and uh, success of our community. Um, it's folks like that who are getting their education here who really help uh, the community rise up and, and be a success that it really can be. Um, we'd like to thank the many people who believe in the college and believe in what the college does and the foundation. We recently had a gala event that was very successful. We all hope those of you who were there had a great time. Those of you who weren't, come next year and see what we're all about. It's really a great time for all. Um, just to tell you a few things that the foundation have been involved with just recently, um, we're expanding our presence in the Attleboro area with a new campus building um, that's going to accommodate probably about double the amount that we have now. We're going to enter a collaboration with uh, Bridgewater State College. Uh, so folks up there in the Attleboro area who are going to CCRI and other places are going to be able to stay right in their community and get the education that they want uh, without leaving and even go on to a bachelor's degree. So these, these are the type of things that foundation monies pay for. Something as extravagant as that or something as simple as on our grants committee, uh, we'll have folks who will come to us and say, my transmission is given out in my car and I simply have to leave school. I can't make it to school and I don't have the money to fix that. The foundation will give a grant uh, to folks who need that. And that's really, it sounds like not much, but it's, it's the little extra that allows that person to continue their education. Um, so this is uh, evidence of what the foundation is all about. People like Mr. Pierce are instrumental to our success. And um, we hope there's more Mr. Pierce's in the future. We want to add on a lot more wings uh, to what we have here today. So thank you very much. and. Um, Look forward to, to talking to you all in the future. Thanks. Well, as Luke mentioned, the beneficiaries of the foundation in general uh, have to do with scholarships, our students, uh, also our faculty and staff. 
uh, uh, apply for grants and uh, uh, for their research and for their uh, the betterment and the strengthening of their programs, and the foundation is glad to uh, provide that as uh, as, pos as soon as much as possible. Um, as Luke mentioned, we have those emergency funds. I was really struck by that when I first got here, that uh, emergency uh, temporary loans, if you will, uh, to students who, as Luke said, they would just have to drop out if it were not for the foundation and the, the wonderful uh, uh, compassionate work of our supporters, uh, and our generous donors, and the foundation people themselves. And I want to uh, acknowledge, if I could, on behalf of the foundation, our vice president for uh, resource development, Elizabeth uh, McCarthy. Elizabeth, if you would say hello. <laughs> well, for all those good works that the foundation continues, has done and continues to do, uh, we want to concentrate today on uh, Mr. Pierce's uh, love, and that is in health-related uh, uh, offerings at the college and education. Um, m much of this money, uh, will, uh, all of it, will be devoted to health-related activities at the college, and it's my pleasure now to introduce to you Dr. Johanna DuPont, who is the dean of all of these health-related activities at the college and the uh, head of that division. Dr. DuPont. Thank you. Is there a mic here? No. There is no, there is no mic there. I don't. Um, good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Health Sciences Division, I would like to thank the Pierce Foundation. Um, it is really with deep gratitude that we acknowledge your gift. We thank you, thank you very much for your interest in health and in the college. We are really giving our hearts uh, every day into the education of these students who are going out to serve the community and primarily the local community because our students, they're kind of allergic to that bridge over there in the distance, <laughs> although <laughs> they, will, they will drive about 40 miles, I think. But anyway, we could be quite certain that most of them will be working in our communities with our families, with ourselves, when we become patients and clients in the healthcare system in different capacities. And around you, you have, and I'm gonna ask people who are in these departments to just raise, raise their hands. We have occupational therapists. We have dental hygienists. We have nurses. We have a massage therapists. We have healthcare information professionals. We have clinical lab scientists. Um, and we have medical administrative practices personnel and medical assistant personnel. And um, did I miss anybody? And we have a very hardworking group of individuals who are very dedicated to helping these students succeed in their lives and to become the best healthcare professionals that they can be. And as you all know, as people alive in the world who need health services, Health technologies are very expensive, and as things move along and technology changes, it becomes more and more expensive to provide health care. It becomes more and more expensive to provide the education and to keep the, the students current. So we thank you um, enormously. I really honor and value Mr. Pierce's values as a philanthropist, as an interest in health and wellness, and I will say, if you know any other philanthropists, <laughs> we, have, we have at least three laboratories who, that, are in, that are in need of, of um, serious updating and upgrading. So keep, keep it coming. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, thank you, Dr. DuPont, for that shameless commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're very grateful. I, there are a number of people in the audience I should recognize, uh, but time uh, doesn't allow. I did want to recognize, however, our new academic uh, vice president, Sarah Garrett. Sarah Garrett. Uh, <clears throat> she's new, and I've assured her that every Friday we do this same uh, event and uh, with different philanthropists appearing. Uh, <laughs> Well, uh, it's come to that time. I recognize the uh, trustees for you, uh, not only because of the respect that they deserve, but also because of the instrumental part that they've played in today's uh, ceremony, and that was by a, uh, voting to approve the naming of the wing uh, that you see here uh, that includes the uh, dental hygiene uh, uh, 
clinic, uh, the dental clinic and the nursing lab and uh, massage therapy and uh, the, the, the dean's office. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 and so uh, from henceforth on, the trustees have uh, mandated that this be known as the Pierce uh, Wing. And uh, I want to acknowledge the wonderful uh, work, not only on the Pierce Foundation, but for Bristol Community College and its foundation of Betty Welsh. Uh, Betty, uh, you'll be uh, seeing in a, shortly in a second here, but Betty uh, did this uh, painting of, uh, of uh, Mr. Pierce, and that will be hung prominently as well a, a banner identifying this as the Pierce Wing, permanent banner and a plaque uh, that will identify it as well, and in grateful recognition to the generous uh, donation of, of the Pierce Foundation, of course, Mr. Pierce. So uh, we will try to perpetuate his name uh, as best we can, Betty, and uh, it's a very uh, emotional time, I know. Uh, uh, Betty thought the world of Mr. Pierce, and uh, uh, it's a great honor that we can commemorate his name uh, in this way, uh, with what he loves so much, education and um, and the, uh, uh, the health-related activities. So I would like now uh, to uh, invite Betty uh, to come up with the uh, president of the foundation, Luke Travis, and they will uh, pr provide the ceremony. Betty is going to give out the uh, checks, are you? <laughs> <laughs> After we unveil the, uh, uh, on the count of three, one. Two, three. Yay. <laughs> like uh, well, it really is a great day for the college, and I'd like to invite Betty now to take over the podium and make her uh, presentations. Thank you, Betty. I appreciate everybody coming today, and it is with great pleasure that I'm presenting these checks. Uh, for Brown University, one quarter of the estate, of, I should say, of the foundation, goes to Brown University in the amount of 258,000 plus. <laughs> United Way of Greater Fall River, who Mr. Pierce did serve as a chairman at one time, another 258,000 plus. <laughs> and two. And Jack, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch Luke on this. <laughs> BCC, 578, 517,000 plus. <laughs> Well, we're very, very grateful, and I know I uh, speak for Brown University and United Way of Fall River. I happen to also serve on the board of uh, the United Way of Fall, Fall River, and uh, we're very proud of, uh, to be associated at Bristol Community College, to be associated with our two partners in this great ceremony. So we, we send students to Brown University, and we have great uh, collaborations with uh, Brown University, and of course, uh, we all know the great work that uh, United Way does in our community. So it's an honor for Bristol to be associated with the both of you as well, and I thank you for coming. So I thank everyone. Uh, that's going to conclude our uh, celebration. We have uh, uh, a cake uh, cutting uh, ceremony to, uh, uh, sa uh, to, to I hope you'll participate in, and uh, uh, I thank you so much. Uh, we just can't be uh, uh, grateful enough for uh, words are lost in this kind of an occasion. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. <laughs>